Hello everybody, and welcome back to episode 3, or part 3, of my Minecraft Redstone tutorial. And you're thinking, what is this? This is the, uh, 3 combination lock. Uh, right now I've just unplugged a couple of things. The 3 combination lock with a button. So, how does it work? Well, for start, I just want to show you how a button opens a door. Okay, good enough, but then you have to push the button and hurry through. Not that, not the best of things. But now, if we remember the three combination we had, the up, down, up, just moved it over here. So, we have here, and it's over to an AND gate this time. And, uh, the AND gate, what is that for? Well, that is for the button. It hits that one. But, let's hit the right combination. And, uh, let's see if it works. Boom! But why does it stay open? This one only gives a short burst. So, logic says that it should stay, it should close by now. But no! I made a RS NOR latch. Which is a memory latch. Which means that if you put in a current, it remembers that. So now this one is on. If I now push the reset button, which toggles that one, it goes off. The toggle on, which toggles it to that one. And toggle off to that one. And that basically is the RS NOR latch, and um, very useful in many situations. And uh, yes, Dion, if you're watching this, this is not the password I have on the R on our Minecraft server. And yes, I've hidden the button, so you will not find it. It's behind a wall. And no, please do not dig into my base. Anyways, so that is the three combination lock with a button. And, uh, that is basically it, uh, but I'm thinking there's something not quite here. What could that be? Well, I can tell you what that could not be. Just fire up my iPhone. I need the schematics for this. I do not have this in my head. I am sorry. Now. This next gate is a bit more complicated. Doesn't look too bad yet, I know. There we go, that one. There, and there. Now I remember. Oh, not there. Or was it there? No, it's not there. But it's there and there. There, there. There, there, and there. Let's say that goes over here to a door. And remember, we can just... Right now I have these short for convenience sake, but you could actually have them way over there as long as you have enough of these repeaters. So, what does this gate do? Well, this is called an XNOR gate which means exclusive NOR gate. Which means this one, if one is on, ta-da! It's open. And off. But now, if we press this one as well, it closes. And opens. So, if both are off, it's off. If both are on, it's off. But if one of them is on, it is on. So you can also use that just to confuse, or just to have an easy way to get inside your house. For example, you could just... Sorry, door. I'm not using time to... Ah, crap. Um, I'm sorry. I'm going to use a few seconds to resupply on my redstone. I should have done that before I showed you. <laughs> and... Uh, 
this. Now let's pretend there's a... You know what? Let's not just pretend. Uh, oops. Let's actually make a wall. And then we see... Ah, oh, crap. Well, you know it's dandy and handy. Redstone repeater. And then we fix that problem. Anyways, so we're outside your house, and you're thinking, God, I just wish there was some easy way to open my door and then close it behind me. Well, now there is. With the XNOR gate. Or, yeah, the XOR gate. Nor, not the XNOR gate. Open it. Go inside. Close it. Open it. Close it. Instead of just, for example, having a switch here and letting everyone just see, hi, this is where I live. Instead of doing that, which also works. Have a bit more fancy to show off to people. And, uh, yeah, I will show you also in the next episode how to make a programmable combination lock. It's kind of cool. Well, I'll see you then. Goodbye. Please subscribe and rate. And again, goodbye.